didn't have to, and you're still here. I appreciate it. Um, this is our second floor stand-up first show of the year. Do you believe it? <laughs> We're going to feature so many funny comedians tonight at Camp Second Floor, so I hope you're ready for our Camp Town show. <laughs> um, do you guys ever start unbuckling your pants way too early on your way to the bathroom? I'll start that down the hall. I don't even care. I will not waste any time in the stall with my belt. I'm all about efficiency. Um, something about me is I just, I don't know my cheeses. I don't know my cheeses. And Subway is a goddamn nightmare. Because I'm going down the line and I know, I know banana peppers, I know spinach. Easy, easy, but then I get to the cheeses and I just, I can point, but I cannot articulate. I cannot articulate what cheese I want. I'll just, and then you're pointing through that magic glass that changes the depth of where you're pointing. And I'm like, American? And they give me a provolone, I'm like, it's fine, it's fine. I don't know Jack from Cheddar. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, I worked at a summer camp over the summer, and something that I like to tell the kids was that my dad invented the floss. <laughs> I'd say, kids, look. <laughs> and they'd say, you're not doing it right. You're not, that's not how it goes. And I'd say, um, I think I know how it goes. My dad invented it. <laughs> I think I know the fork knife dance, kids. <laughs> uh, Another, an activity that I led at summer camp was water skiing and wakeboarding. However, I have never water skied, <laughs> and I certainly have never wakeboarded. <laughs> so I would take the kids on the boat, and I'd be demonstrating on the back of the boat with the board, and I'd be like, yeah, and then you're just going to want to bend your knees, probably. Just keep, I'm shouting, driving back, like, keep your eye on. <laughs> Just have fun! It'll work out. Um, so yeah, I worked at a summer camp, and a fun thing that happened at summer camp was that I went there with my boyfriend of the year, um, <laughs> and we were going to spend the whole summer together, and then he broke up with me in the first week, and so I had to spend the rest of the summer just there with him 24-7. But, as a fun result, I got super into fishing. <laughs> I said, what if I spent all my time doing this? What if I got super crazy and did this psycho thing and I got into fishing? <laughs> so for three hours a day, I would take uh, about 12 kids on this pontoon boat that I barely knew how to drive, and I would take them to the middle of the lake, and we would fish. Um, and it was chaos. It was absolutely chaotic. Um, and at this camp, if, if the children can catch a fish, they have the option to eat the prepared fish for dinner. However, then it falls upon moi to kill the fish, and I would have to do that on board. And the way we killed the fish at this camp was they would catch it. Everyone's screaming. Everyone's running around, and it's a nightmare for me. They would catch it, and then I would have to bash the fish's head with this club that was just a piece of driftwood. <laughs> and I'm holding this fish down and it's flopping and I'm crying. I can't stop crying for multiple reasons. And people are screaming, I'm like, sit down, sit down, I'm trying. And I, I was so bad because I would never get it on the first try. <laughs> I would never get it on the first try. <laughs> but it's okay. I learned there's many fish in the sea. <laughs> and there's many rainbow trout and brown trout in Ice House Reservoir. <laughs> <laughs>